check this out. We're back with a quick update for you on our radio link gyro. It's flying beautiful in this plane, but setting up another plane, I did run into a problem. So first I'll show you this plane, how I sit it nice and still on the bench. A couple of rolls of masking tape there underneath, 36 and 18 mil masking tape, 54 millimeters all up. And I checked it with a mobile phone app for the angle and it's sitting there at 15 degrees angle. So this might help someone. Here's our Eshin F16 EDF. Got the same gyro in it. And I calibrated it a little bit different. That is at 6 to 7 degrees. A lot less than my little warbird. Zero. A lot less than the Zero Warbird. Gives you a little bit of an idea. Moving on to the next plane. The lovely Eshin F18. I've calibrated it again at the same degrees as the last one. Six to seven degrees. Just with a LiPo battery underneath it. Because it's a little bit different shape. That's 35 millimeters high. Setting up our new F-18 from Eshin, I ran into a little problem. Hocklid the gyro in, plugged it all in. Same receiver as my F-16. And all I did is copy the model. I haven't changed the picture yet, but this is the F-18 setup. Exactly the same setup, because the F-16 is flying beautiful. Went to calibrate it before I change all the control services around. I'll show you now, try and calibrate it. Two sticks down the bottom, three seconds, nothing happened. I thought, what's this? Tried a different angle, stick up to the top. That has worked in the past, nothing happens. Down the bottom corners, nothing happens. Try different corners, nothing happens. I thought, what's going on here? We've got a problem. This is no good, is it? This is no good. But I found an answer. So I thought that maybe all my switches and rates could have been messing up the calibration, could have been interfering with the calibration. So I set up a fresh new model and just bound to it. All my sticks in the corners, two bottom corners and nothing happened. So I try it up in the top corner. And there we go, we can calibrate it now. So, bit weird, I don't know what's going on. Maybe it is all these, these switches that I've set up is messing with the calibration, not too sure. I'll show you again how I calibrate it. So I've got the nose up a little bit, with that LiPo battery underneath. So the plane's sitting at six to seven degrees. We're plugged in and I've got a fresh model set. No switches, no nothing, no rate set. And this calibration down the bottom corners don't work. But when I go up in the top corner, it'll work. Push the light, it'll flash and the motor will run. So if you've got another plane, like a Warbird, make sure you've got a prop off. There we go, we're calibrated. So I hope this helps someone. Thanks for watching.